Hi, I'm Jessica Matthews with the American Council on Exercise, and for the final installment of our summer series, Tony and I are going to walk you through some fun, easy, and effective exercises to sculpt and tone your lower body. As with any strength training program, we'll progress our exercises to target larger muscles first before proceeding to smaller muscle groups. Today we'll begin with a squat, which will target the quadriceps, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Tony begins with his feet hip bone distance apart. To move into the squat, he'll bend at the knees, pushing his hips back like he's sitting into a low chair. His arms will extend out in front as he lowers the thighs parallel with the ground and the knees bent at a 90 degree angle. He'll then rise up to his starting position, lowering the arms down at the side and repeat. A variation for the squat is to incorporate a sponge ball to target the hip adductors. Another compound exercise for the lower body is the lunge, which also targets the quadriceps, hamstrings, and the glutes. To begin, Tony stands also with his feet hip bone distance apart. Moving into the lunge, he'll take a large step forward with the right foot, bending at the knee, dropping to a 90 degree angle until the thigh becomes parallel with the ground. He'll then rise up to his starting position and repeat with the opposite leg. Noticing here that the weight is situated in his front heel when he lunges forward, the back knee is bent with the weight situated in the ball of the foot. Moving to the lower leg, Tony will perform heel raises. This simple and effective exercise targets the gastrocnemius and the soleus. To perform, Tony simply rises up onto the toes and plant our flexion. He then lowers the heels to the start position and he'll repeat this series, keeping the core engaged to stabilize the spine and the pelvis. Targeting the hip abductors, Tony will lie on his side and perform an outer thigh lift. So with the bottom arm extended and his head resting on the arm, he'll use his top hand for support on the mat. The top leg is extended fully, the bottom leg is bent at the knee, and to perform the exercise, Tony will simply raise the top leg up, targeting the outer thigh, and he'll lower down, keeping the knee and the hips pointed forward. He'll engage the core to stabilize the pelvis. Targeting the opposing muscle now, the hip adductors, Tony will perform a side-lying inner thigh lift. So starting in the same position as our last exercise, the bottom leg is now extended along the mat, and Tony brings his top leg with the knee bent over the bottom leg, using that hand for additional support through the spine, maintaining neutral alignment. To begin the exercise, Tony will lift that bottom leg off of the mat and lower to the starting position. This exercise, although the range of mo motion is small, is very effective in targeting the inner thigh muscles. To maintain a neutral alignment, Tony engages his abdominals, stabilizing the pelvis and the low back, and he avoids external rotation of the thigh by keeping the bottom knee pointed forward. So remember, these exercises, when used in conjunction with regular cardio training, and proper nutrition are a great way to sculpt and strengthen your lower body. Thanks for tuning in for our summer series. For more health and fitness tips, be sure to log on to acefitness.org.